event tonight. Hey, hey, hey. Um, Oh, you know, I don't know if you guys were watching the lines, but she opened up at about a uh, one and a half to uh, one underdog. She closed, or she was earlier this afternoon, she was minus, I mean, she was plus 1,100. She was that kind of underdog coming into tonight. She came in. Um, she said that, you know, she said that she, she was both different in Hawaii. She came in and showed that, um, you know, let me rewind for a second. We talked, I talked to Brian Butler, her manager, who I have a great relationship with, and we talked about getting Rachel a fight, and she didn't really want to fight Bare Knuckle. And then when Paige was brought up, she said, I'm all in, I want to fight Paige. So she accepted the fight. She looks sensational tonight. We asked her in the post-fight interview, do you want to fight Bare Knuckle again? And she said, I think so. So let's talk to, uh, let's talk to Rachel. Uh, Rachel, First of all, you came in here, it was a new sport for you, something that, you know, you've never competed on before. It was a rematch with Paige Van Zandt, but not in the same sport, so I didn't really count it as a rematch. You looked very, very good. You took some good shots and just kept, kept coming forward. What, what, what are your thoughts on the fight tonight? Man, it's been a long time coming. Thank you guys for coming out and supporting, not giving up on me. I came out, showed out, came what I... I came to do what I came to do, and I was win. I didn't expect anything else, anything less. I was coming home as a winner. She looks like um, she caught you with some. She caught you with some really nice jabs, um, as you were hitting. Uh, you were landing her, landing the overhand right on her, really at will, and then you got in tight and unloaded punches on her. You looked really, really good. Um, what was it like competing in bare knuckle for the first time and, and tasting bare knuckle punches? Rachel, congratulations on the win. Just early on, you cracked Paige with a, with a big shot early on. Was that part of your, your game plan to establish power and establish some dominance right away? Yep. <laughs> yep. I wanted, I wanted to get that respect real quick. I want to let her know that I ain't playing around. You're going to feel my power. You ain't going to just come in here and boss me around. I don't care if it's my first fight here. Rachel, what do you feel worked for you in this fight tonight? My overhand, right? <laughs> um, yeah, pressing the fight, establishing dominance, and just having a strong mindset and knowing that this is my fight. I'm winning this. I told myself, this is mine. I was even telling her, I was like, yeah, like she would catch me up, like, nice, but this is my fight. I was talking to her, letting her know. And that's just what it is. Something you just got to believe in yourself when nobody else does. Were you saying this inside the fight? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's dope. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Anything else? Anybody have questions for myself? <laughs>